primed canvas and then using acrylic burn tumber I'm basically just going over the pencil lines with a little bit more artistic license. This is called the underpainting. And like this, I used to call this my ghosting method and then I found out the Venetians have been doing it for years. <laughs> well not anymore, there's no Venetians but just at uh, the Renaissance. So what I'm going to do is just put the merest faint, merest faint of white paint over the whole of the picture. Painting because it's very wet but it's sticky wet so that the thin down paint sticks and pulls off. It's a great way of painting detail for it. most important part of a cat is his whiskers or her whiskers stops them from getting into trouble they reckon if they can get the whiskers through into a tight squeeze the rest of them's okay a few spots on the nose and I think I'm getting near to finished on this painting within the time permitted yeah I think that's the idea. Thank you. doing is putting it on and then taking another brush and actually blending it away give these kind of softer edges just here you'd allow the paint to sort of stiffen up for a few minutes before you blend off yeah an introduction and now to paint underwater glazers and layers which is the layers of color and just putting a little bit of white in between just to give it a little bit opaque just a little bit opaque working its way through to the finish dirt to the finished uh, painting and it's a series of corrections. You can't get there all in one go. Well, thank you. Thank you.